Kuala Lumpur is primarily an Islamic city with beautiful royal Islamic architecture. There are several places to visit in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. That will bring you closer to the enjoyable life in this cultural and entertainment melting pot. It has become a well-known vacation spot that should not be missed on your trip to Malaysia. Designed to house several delightful haunts and imposing skyscrapers, the popular tourist destination contains historical structures, beautiful parks, and other attractions. Stay tuned because we are about to show you the following places that will help you learn about its people's history, culture, and art. Petronas Tower Petronas Twin Towers hold the title of world's tallest twin buildings standing at 452 meters or 1,483 feet. This is one of Kuala Lumpur's most well-known attractions. Petronas Twin Towers, cleverly constructed with Islamic-influenced architecture. It is mainly home to the headquarters of Petronas Company and corporations such as Barclays, Boomerang, IBM, and Accenture. This double-decker sky bridge connects the 41st and 42nd levels of the 88-story buildings. In Petronas Towers, there is a science museum, a concert hall, and other attractions that appeal to international visitors and tourists. There are also several things to do, the most amazing of which is to gaze over the entire city from the Petronas Towers observation deck, which is placed on the 86th level. The two-decked sky bridge provides a spectacular view as well as the exhilaration of moving between two towers. Some of the most famous musical artists and orchestras perform in the concert hall. The Petronas Tower's romantic atmosphere makes it one of the top locations for couples to visit in Kuala Lumpur. Sultan Abdul Samad Building Sultan Abdul Samad Building, built in 1897, is one of the city's oldest Moorish-style structures. Despite its lack of official significance, the building is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Kuala Lumpur. It is a historical landmark in the city due to its undeniable grandeur and rich heritage. The landmark building, built entirely of bricks, has strong Western and Moorish influences in its architecture. There is a wraparound imposing porch with a 42 meters or 138 feet clock tower towering arches, and a curved portico top with copper domes. The Sultan Abdul Samad building is one of the truly remarkable places for Kuala Lumpur sightseeing, attracting many enthusiasts and architects. Its enchanting evening lighting and decoration make it a Kuala Lumpur's must-see historical landmark at night. National Mosque of Malaysia Masjid Negara, Malaysia's National Mosque, is a one-of-a-kind steel mosque with marvelous craftsmanship and spacious grandeur. Several water features in open areas include a glimpse of modern Muslim architecture. The refreshing atmosphere of this pilgrim is highlighted by vibrant colors, interior decoration in light pale and turquoise colors. The magnificent mosque, which is open to both Muslims and non-Muslims, is one of the best spots to visit in Kuala Lumpur. Many people are captivated by exhibits depicting Islamic culture. The mosque circle tour should take no more than an hour or two. Are you getting into the video? Please like and subscribe. Tourists who are not dressed appropriately with any part of their arms, legs, or head visible will be mandated to wear a purple robe. The robe will be provided free of charge and on the mosque's premises. Please take care not to disrupt the sanctity of this religious site. It is also common practice to take off your shoes when you enter the shrine. Burjaya Times Square Burjaya Times Square is yet another shop for superb shopping, entertainment, and restaurants. The Galaxy Station, the largest indoor theme park, has an adult zoo and a popular kids' area called the Fantasy Garden. When the weather is in cooperating for exploring the city or when you just want to shop until you drop, 
it's one of the best places to visit with family. Batu Caves Batu Caves has always been a popular tourist destination in Kuala Lumpur. The Batu Caves are impressive limestone caves that contain three large temples and several smaller temples. These caves, which are said to be among Kuala Lumpur's most visited tourist attractions, are breathtaking each in their own property. Some of these caves are more than 400 million years old. Several Hindu shrines and depictions of Hindu mythology can be found in the three major caves, Cathedral Cave, Art Gallery Cave, and Museum Cave. These caves, which are minimally decorated with mythological paintings and statues, hold a special place in the Hindu community. However, the cave's prominence broadens to other cultures as well. Many non-Hindu tourists and admirers come to experience the wonder of these limestone giants. Many documentaries have been made that illustrate the mesmerizing charm of the caves as well as the fantastic ceremonies that take place there. Kavadis may be found on your 272-step journey to the main cave. These Kavadis carry heavy water storing frameworks on their bare shoulders as an offering to Lord Murugan. Don't be surprised if you see a Kavadi with a Kavad pierced through his skin. Little India Brickfields, also recognized as Little India, is the hot spot of the city's Indian community. People are flocking to this miniature India to feast on Indian delicacies and make friends with Indians. It is a popular tourist destination in Kuala Lumpur. Many stories are told over a cup of coffee in the nearby food outlets. Many people buy Indian clothing with a Malaysian twist. It's extraordinary to see Kuala Lumpur streets thriving with power and cheeriness reminiscent of Indian marketplaces. Bright ornaments, brightly colored exteriors, sweet stores, Indian products, and much more await you here. Even Indians can be astonished by the celebrations over-the-top design scene during festival events such as Diwali and Holi. No one can deny the fullness and authenticity of the environment. Jalan Alor This is the best hawker food you'll ever have and one of the best places to visit at night in Kuala Lumpur. And this is not an exaggeration. We are simply stating the facts. Jalan Alor has everything from air-conditioned restaurants to food hawkers to street side carts. A whiff of the aromas fill the air from this street is enough to tempt and entice you to try the delectable food. Taste Malaysian delicacies such as barbecued meat, sprinkled saute, and spiced up seafood at Jalan Alor. As you savor the dishes alongside the ambient cold wind and impaled Chinese lamps, the delectability of the dishes tends to increase tenfold. Luminescent street lamps and strategically placed trees add to the overall experience. Those who dislike the heat released by furiously crinkling grills can choose covered air-conditioned restaurants. While the journey will be unique, the food will be equally delightful and enjoyable. It is no secret that it is one of the best places to visit in Kuala Lumpur. Bukit Bintang Shopping District the shopping and entertainment district of Kuala Lumpur includes a lot of several streets. There are a number of shopping centers, street markets, and affluent cafes and restaurants. Many major celebrations take place in this area throughout the year. This includes the New Year's Eve countdown and the St. Patrick's Day Parade and festivities. The Berjaya Times Square Shopping Mall is one of the area's main attractions complete with a number of thrill rides and even a looping roller coaster. The city's most opulent mall, Star Hill Gallery, is also in this neighborhood. The Bukit Bintang Shopping District is also well known for spa-related services, particularly massages and reflexology. A lot of themed restaurants serve international cuisine in open-air settings, including a dining-in-the-dark experience. Forest Echo Park the Echo Forest Reserve, originally known as Bukit Nanas Forest Reserve, is one of Malaysia's oldest forest reserves. The main attraction is a 200 meters or 219 yards canopy walk 
that provides visitors with an excellent aerial perspective of the treetops in the city from a distance. Titi Wangsa Lake Garden Titi Wangsa Lake Garden is a wonderful place to unwind and appreciate outdoor activities with friends and family. You can go canoeing, aqua biking, jogging, horseback riding, and kids can play at a radio control car racing track, which is a lot of fun. If you want to do nothing, buy some food and drinks from vendors near the lake and have your own little picnic. There is no doubt that Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia has an incredibly interesting culture, and it's their culture that keeps tourists coming back. Which of their tourist attractions would you prioritize? The Petronas Tower or how about Batu Caves? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found value in this video, consider liking and subscribing.